If you take public transit, there's a decent chance you've already noticed them on your morning commute. National Guard members doing random bag checks in the subway system. This is all part of the plan the governor unveiled yesterday to combat the perception of rising subway crime. Morgan Mackay is live at Grand Central Station with the details on this rollout. Morgan, we said perception, but is there actually a rise in subway crime? Hey, Chris and Bianca. So I'm here at Grand Central, and right now there's not a huge police presence. There are a few officers here around the subway turnstiles, but no bag checks. We did run into a few National Guard members earlier today who said that might start around 4 p.m. at this location today. But again, a lot of mixed emotions about the rollout of this new initiative. So Governor Kathy Hochul yesterday announced that she will be deploying around 750 National Guard members and around 250 state police police troopers to conduct random bag searches at some of the city's busiest subway stations. Hochul would not say how long she plans to use the National Guard and state police for this new operation, but this will be on top of the additional thousand NYPD officers Mayor Eric Adams sent to patrol the subway starting in February. This comes as subway crime is up 13 percent compared to 2023, with assaults on the transit system up 11 percent. Now, according to the NYPD, 2023 had the highest number of subway assaults since at least 1996. Now, because of the uptick in violence in the subway system, Hochul unveiled a five-part subway safety plan yesterday that includes a new bill that would ban people from riding public transit for three years if they are convicted of a violent crime against another passenger. Hochul says she understands that people are afraid to take the subway at times and hopes that an increased police presence and added security security cameras will help people feel safer. We have had a series of high profile crimes that have shaken the security of New Yorkers. Statistically, it's not what it used to be. It's better, much better, but I'm not going to talk about statistics. I'm going to talk about feelings and emotions and the psychology of a city. I want more people on the subways. We're not quite back to the pre-pandemic levels. And if people are feeling unsafe and won't come, then I have to do something about it. So Hochul was asked also on Good Day what happens if someone refuses a bag check. She said that they can then leave, go home, and not ride the subway. But just so you guys technically know, people can refuse a bag check and they can just go to a different subway station. Reporting live, I'm Morgan Mackay. Chris and Bianca, back to you. All right, Morgan, thank you very much.